In this video, we're going to be using House of Mammoth Mood Indigo and the Feather SS Shavette Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content today, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and I'm really looking forward to this shave today because we're using House of Mammoth Mood Indigo, which has a really beautiful scent. I'll put the notes for you on the screen right there. We have black pepper, uh, blueberry. The blueberry really comes out. It makes it really nice. Rum, vetiver, oud, uh, night sky. I don't know what note night sky is, but this comes together beautifully and it has very good scent strength. Um, let's give it a whiff. Oh man, this is really, really nice. It's an unusual fragrance to my nose, but I absolutely love it. It is a stellar scent in my opinion. House of Mammoth Mood Indigo. This is a pricey soap. It runs $25 for four ounces and on a cost chart there, that is a painful $6.25 an ounce, but House of Mammoth does donate $1 per tub to charity. So you can consider that in the cost factor if you wish. This is a tallow based soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. It is not hard to work with uh, at all. And I like these containers that Mammoth uses, kind of similar to some of the Barrister and Man containers. Very nice, heavy. Um, I like these a lot and it's a good looking label as well. So mood indigo today. We're looking forward to using it. By the way, there is a lather shot. The lather today was really, really creamy, nice. I'm really looking forward to the shave today. The razor for today is the Feather SS Shavette razor, excuse me. And I'm using a uh, ProGuard blade in there just essentially because I'm trying to use it up. Um, and we look forward to having a great shave with this today. I'm going to put that blade in a little further. There we go. And we are all set. This razor runs usually anywhere from $70 to a little over $100 on Amazon and other places. So keep an eye out on it if you've been interested and try to catch it um, at its best price. I will link it as, al as always below if you're interested. But uh, I recommend you try to catch it when it's at a good price. All right. We'll start out with our mister and just wet the face. And we are home for a while. And so I'm, I'm happy to, to be home and get a chance to shave in my own uh, bathroom again, restroom, whatever you want to call it. It is cold here today. It is like this morning 27 degrees and for those of you in who follow Celsius, 27 is below freezing. In uh, Fahrenheit, 32 degrees is freezing. It is 27, so it's cold. I do not like that at all, <laughs> but that's what you get in the, you know, near winter. So, oh man. By the way, the brush is a very, very beautiful, uh, that darn Rob brush. Now it's called Chisel and Hound. It used to be called TDR. Uh, but man, it is a nice brush. The the knot on it is the uh, AP Shaveco Sinbad, which is really nice in my opinion. And I tell you what, this lather is nice. There's some good hydration in it. Had no problems working with it, working it up to a lather. Easy to use. Uh, House of Mammoth or Mammoth. Let's just call it Mammoth for short, what they used to be called. Um, really nice. Feels nice and silky on the face, lack of a better way of Explaining it. Oh man, that is just good stuff right there. I'm liking that a lot. <laughs> Sometimes it's just fun to paint the lather on there. And really, it's what it's all about. Having fun, enjoying your shaves. Taking it from a chore to something really fun, something that you look forward to. And I'm gonna tell you, I was looking forward to this shave today because being home and using a, you know, a new scent, it's always fun for me. All right, let's see if we can mind our technique today here with the Feather SS, and that feels quite nice. I don't know how many shaves I have on this blade, but it's still cutting rather well. No problems whatsoever. Let's rinse that off. It is straight razor slash, slash sorry about that, <laughs> slash shave at a Sunday today. I hope you all are all having a fantastic day. Wherever you are, I hope your holidays, if you're celebrating Holidays, you know, the Thanksgiving holiday was fantastic and Black Friday was great if you did some shopping. We are now in the Christmas season here, so we're looking very much forward to to Christmas and being around family again. That's always a lot of fun. 
and just sort of the spirit of the season giving you know just just um thinking about being grateful i, I really like that because if it's one thing i am grateful and i'm grateful if you're watching today thank you very much i really appreciate you let's get going here on this side and that just feels smooth as can be and the mammoth soap uh, quality wise is quite good there's no quality issues at all let's just get rid of this right here well let's just use the, the little towel here and get rid of that there's no sense in trying to go up that far even though uh, there is hair that grows all the way up there but we won't get that today we'll get it with a de tomorrow no problem with that oh man very nice good slickness on this soap for sure but as i always say um, when we're talking about slicknesses slickness in general in soap um, just about every reputable soap on the market is slick i'm not one of those guys that's going to drone on for you about this slick this is slicker than that and so forth um, there's no way to objectively measure that and so when someone says something is slicker than something else, it's like, well, how do you know? How did you measure it? There's no objective way to measure it. But I'll tell you right now, the soap is slick and it is nice. Uh, but then again, just about everything else is too. So just keep that in mind. If you're using a product that's reputable, it's going to be good, almost assuredly. Because most things are quite good today. And that's great. That's, a, that's wonderful that we have so many great... Uh, products to choose from and this one certainly is no uh, exception and I'm loving that scent it's really just filling the room and that's just really really awesome all right let's continue on and re-lather got plenty of lather here uh, mammoth I'd say the consistency is soft but it's not it's not like goopy soft I don't really care for soaps when they get goopy soft um, this one is soft but it's not too soft like I said before easy to work with quite uh, luxurious lather you can get some good density in the lather weight you know it's a weighty lather if you get hydration in it and don't lather it in an airy fashion so if you're new what we're trying to achieve with lather or what most people are trying to achieve is a, is a creamy dense sort of heavy lather holding that water um, which increases that slickness if you're on the airy side it's not quite as slick but honestly uh, truth be told, you can shave with just about any style of lather if you're skilled enough. And when I say skilled enough, I don't mean you have to be a, uh, a ninja. <laughs> you know, you just, if you're, if you're well acquainted with your equipment, you can get by with just plain water or some people sh shave um, even dry. I know in the military, I shave dry out in the field. So, you know, it can be done. Sometimes we overcomplicate what is actually required. Um, and we conflate what is required with what we like. And those two want and needs are two very different things. And oftentimes in the hobby, we conflate those things and we shouldn't. What we need and what we want, you know, we should sort of uh, make sure we articulate that when we're talking about things. So you don't actually need that much for it to be, you know, shavable. But we want it to be nice and dense and creamy as this is today. And it just, it feels great on the face. And it definitely lends itself to a really nice um, shave. So House of Mammoth, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. I think it's worth trying. Again, it's a little, you know, it's on the pricey side. There's just no way around that. But um, but it is, a, it is a quality soap as far as that goes. So if you've been uh, sort of considering it and you've been on the fence, I say give it a shot, find a scent you like, and um, it's definitely a good quality soap. I believe this particular um, base has duck fat in it, and uh, it just works well overall, I think. Very nice. Very nice and smooth. Razor just gliding really easily, and that's exactly what you want. Man, oh man, that, that's just a lot of fun. <laughs> or at least it, it is for me. I'm always excited to get in here. Today I'm home, so I'm like doubly tongue twisted and that's okay we'll we'll get reacquainted with home i've been away more than home the last few months you know caring for my mom um so it's nice to be home and be able to shave here but i'm more familiar now with 
shaving down there. So it's a little different. The camera setup is a little different. And so it'll take me a few days to get my sea legs uh, back under me, so to speak. And I ask you again, uh, did you all get anything for Black Friday? Did you take advantage of any of the sales? If you did, let me know below. What did you pick up? Are you excited about anything you have coming in? I did pick up a few things, which we won't reveal right now. We'll, we'll sort of do those unboxings because people really seem to enjoy the unboxing. So thank you for watching those and you enjoying those uh, sort of uh, initial organic reactions with me. I really appreciate that. And man, oh man. That is just nice right there, man. This scent is, is just, it's fantastic. I love it. And I will buy the splash um, when time permits. I wanted to try the soap first and make sure I really enjoyed it. And I do. This is a fantastic scent and that was a fantastic shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back on off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our PAA out. There was no stinging there. So super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave today. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel back there prior to using the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber with Aloe, which I absolutely love. I had an excellent shave today with Mammoth, or actually House of Mammoth, Mood Indigo. Beautiful scent, strongly scented in my opinion. It is just fantastic. I absolutely loved it. This is a big time winner for me. The Feather uh, SS Shavette is always a winner for me. I had an excellent time with that as well. We used our TDR brush. Now it's Chisel and Hound, formerly TDR, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razorworks brush soaking mug, our HCNC bowl. I'm going to close it out today with House of Mammoth Sonder, which I haven't had a chance to use yet, but I love the scent of the soap and I picked up the splash and boy, I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be great. And I hope wherever you all are today that you have great shaves, that you're enjoying the holiday season, I surely am, and whoo, that is nice, whoo, <laughs> oh, what a scent that is, I really like this a lot, man, I'm gonna go for another, got to do it, that is really nice, love Sonder, sadly, it's, uh, it's been taken off the shelves for this season, but hopefully, we'll see it again in the spring or summer, because it's fantastic, I really like it a lot, thank you so much, folks, you're fantastic, I hope to see you again here tomorrow, because God willing, I will be here, until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.